Hey, we're Jenny and Rich, and our stowaway is Twitchell the Marina Cat. We've been documenting the refit of our 1977 Tayana 37 Ramble On for the past several years. I don't think there's a single part of this boat that we haven't repaired, replaced, or improved in some way. We're proud to say we've done 99.9% .9 of the work ourselves. We've gained a lot of knowledge and experience in the process, and we're happy to pass that wisdom on. Hey, welcome back. So we've been a little MIA because we really haven't had a lot to work on, but I am starting a new sewing project. I'm going to be making uh, cockpit cushions. Um, not for the whole cockpit, just for a little uh, section of it. You know, the problem with <laughs> cockpit cushions, especially for a boat like ours, is um, when they're not in the cockpit, where do you put them? So we decided we still have a lot of space for a lot of extra cushions everywhere. So we decided um, I'm just going to make some kind of shorter cushions and kind of a backrest on the cushions. Um, and then if I ever want to make more cushions kind of to fill up the whole cockpit, I can do that too. But for now, we're just going to do more of like a seating area um, against the bulkhead on the back side of the, or the front side, I should say, of the cockpit. So I decided to go with this, um, it's a two inch foam. It's two inch and it's that, um, I got it at sale, right? And it's like a, I guess it's an open cell foam. Gosh, I should really check. It drains basically. Water just runs right through it. So hopefully they don't get moldy and disgusting. So this is the four pieces. So these two are for sitting and then this one and that one are going to go along the cockpit combing uh, on the back side or on the si inside of the cockpit combing so that you can lean against it and not have the combing um, dig into your back. So what I'm going to do now, I've already measured it out. I made my pattern out of the scrim and then I just transferred that to the foam and I'm just going to use my handy dandy foam cutter and chop this up. So this isn't the bottom cushion. So we, this is going to sit like this. And then the cockpit combing is just below here. So um, I'm actually going to make a little tab here that we're going to do some snaps so it can snap in place. And we'll just do the snap fasteners like we've used before in the cockpit. So we decided to kind of go with something a little more I don't know, whimsical, I guess. Colorful. For Rich picked this out. Um, this color is very close to the um, binnacle cover that I made. So we, we kind of thought it would look nice. But we're, so what we're doing right now is we're just measuring out the fabric for these pieces. And then on the bottom, we're going to use this rubberized um, material that's perforated so it drains mm -hmm. and then you can step on these cu these cushions and they're not going to go anywhere because I can see that being a slipping hazard. Uh, so, that's it. so I'm just following the um, sale right did a video on how to do cockpit cushions so that's what we're going to follow. Uh, they did, they did uh, piping and we're not doing piping. You can't blame me for picking this color. I didn't blame you, I was giving you credit. <laughs> so that's that. And then a quarter inch up from here. This end boxing, right, because that has the seam allowance on both sides as well. Okay, so I'll measure those out afterwards. So you got a quarter inch at the bottom? Right. I got a quarter inch on both sides. Okay, so we got that. Okay. Line, so I'm a quarter inch here and I'm a quarter inch here. What about quarter inch here? Cut ain't bad, just the layout. Yeah. Laying out on a stripey pattern that's... Yeah. We haven't even done the hard stripey part yet. 
What's that? Matching up the other pieces. Oh yeah, the backrest, yeah. So here's the cockpit cushion. This is the one she's already got done and stuffed. And it's got the non-slip on the bottom. This or this uh, rubber grippy stuff is pretty cool. And then the plan on the back is to put buttons. Yeah. For those little flaps right there. Yeah. And then they can snap. Those are the backrest cushions. Yeah. So this is uh, port side, right? based on the slope of this. Yeah. They fit pretty nice. They look good. Yeah, you know, kind of one more to be there. I'm guessing I need a little bit on here for Look at all the stripes match. Yeah, they do. That's the finished product. So you can see that little snap here. So if we need to snap it on there, we can. That way it'll secure it. Um, and then on the back here, we've got this very non-skid. Very, I mean, you can step on this, it's not going anywhere. And then I made some little pillows. So you can sit like this. Or you can sit like this. This is the best way. <laughs> and it's very complimentary to the other canvas. Yeah. Winch covers and yeah. Comb it's similar. Covers. This color, these two, this color is similar. Hey, Rich would be sitting there, but uh, Scott was taken. They're nice. I like them. They all stack together and uh, form a neat little package. Yeah, they're not that. Uh, the back rests are almost exactly half the right. so they're, width of the butt kitchen. Yeah, so, so they stack pretty easily in the uh, quarter berth. Yeah, you literally can make a nice little sandwich and stow them away. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if you could enjoy it, but you don't have any room for you today. I got to sit on it for a little bit. <laughs>